Hey guys, welcome back to another video in Spring Boot series. In the last video, we discussed how can we create a post mapping in Spring Boot, and how can we pass a video object using request body, and save that um, via service into our list, right? But we haven't added any validation. We are simply passing that object to service, and even in service, we haven't any sort of val validation. So if video object is not valid, we are going to have some trouble down the road right so let's add some validation I'll head over to service now and um, so let's let's do a simple validating of this object right and we want both the uh, both the title and description to be non null let's just uh, stay with that and uh, I'll create a a function a validator validating function right and we'll say is valid and that takes in a video object right and how do we validate that what do we want to validate we want to say um, if video dot get title is null or video dot get description is null right then just simply return false right so false will say it is not valid right else return true uh, true so if if they are not null then that's that's a valid video object right so let's just call this uh, method from the save and we'll pass in the video object right so if it is a um, it is valid then we'll uh, we'll add it to the video object so if valid let's say is valid is valid maybe I think more we don't need to do all of that we'll just say if is valid if a video object is valid then we can simply add that in the list right if it's not valid and then we can just return as it true if it's not valid then we'll say return false so this will just tell the controller that if we are able to add something successfully or not I'm doing it a very simple implementation um, but we want a way to tell the controller whatever you know controller send us has been added or not right so in this scenario uh, since it was a valid object we have added that into the list and we sent true back right so true should come here right so it should be able to accept um, a, a boolean value say has added right so if something has been added successfully then we can uh, return a status code right and how are we returning status code we are utilizing response entity right so response entity we can say return response entity and we can say okay or we can say created right so created is a different status code I think it's 201 and uh, it needs a location so that's a problem we haven't created a location object yet so let's just ret return a ok for now and in the f in else scenario when it's not valid then we'll say return a response entity dot bad request right so we'll say see bad request is there here it is bad request so bad request we'll return it back and we'll change the return type to response entity I'll just say this for now okay I think it's dot build or something okay let's change also build okay so um, if it's successfully added we are just saying okay so return uh, we're just sending 200 back otherwise it's a bad request right so, so let's rerun our server 
stop and read it. Um, yep, I think it looks it looks just fine. Let's go back. I think server is coming back up. Let's go back to postman and try to hit the request. So if we should have since I have added the server, we'll we'll just see two objects again because we are not persisting uh, the data. Okay, so two objects came back. Let's add another one. Let's again add the same object. 200, okay. Since it was a valid object, let's make sure it's been added. Change it to get, send. It's been added successfully. Now let's try to add something bad. So let's just not add title. Let's try to add this object without the um, without the title right and we'll say new another description right and let's just send it we can see a 400 bad request right and let's just to make sure if we do get now we don't see another description here because the title was missing right so um, we are just sending a bad request here, right? So that's a uh, you know simple example of how can we validate the incoming object and you know how can we return different status code back whenever for a success scenario and for a failure scenario, right? So that that's it for this video. Stay tuned for more updates like this. Thank you.